Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over a coin called Ergo real quick. Somebody uh, had requested that on my, uh, somebody had requested that on my Twitter page. So I'm going to go over Ergo. But first, quick update on Bitcoin. Uh, I was watching this this morning and it took those two wicks out. So Bitcoin looks good. There was hidden bearish divergence there. It took it out, so it no longer has it. So Bitcoin looks good, guys. Um, could there be a possible drop from here? There could. But otherwise, it uh, it looks pretty good. Confirming even more so as time goes on that that's the low. And everything should be A-OK. -okay. Um, as always, you know, guys, remember, it could uh, flip here soon. OK, so it's like it's making a bearish wick up there. So not too concerned with it. Here's uh, Ergo. I went over it uh, just briefly. I'm not going to go into the fundamentals of it, guys. You know, it's got, uh, it looks like a little bit of limited supply. Flying a little bit under the radar with only about 64,000 uh, subscribers. Okay. Um, just briefly going over this, it, it seemed like that uh, it could have... It's only unlimited exchanges, huh? KuCoin. It's on KuCoin and Gate.io. Okay. So it's not on the major exchanges. Um, that's okay. That's that's okay. It has a little bit less pumpability because of that. So let's go over the uh, technicals with it. You can see right here on the weekly chart, the first thing I popped this open was um, you have an obvious it's like impulse move right there. Uh, one, two... Yeah, three, four, five. There's your divergence right there and then complete. Now, the most obvious thing right here and this wave that it did, you see this wave that went up here and it corrected here into that wave? Well, if you check this on the weekly RSI, it's right here in price at $1.51. But it came all the way down here in the RSI. Reset everything. It reset everything. So... What's the uh, retrace on this? See if it has a uh, second wave retrace. And it needs to be at least 50%. It's down there 90%. You really want to see that at 50% on uh, logarithmic. So that is a little bit. Let's check this out. See if I get as much. Pretty close. It almost tapped it. Pretty close. So let's check the drop on that. See what it is. 91%. So it's probably pretty good. But the RSI down here is telling me more than anything, I feel comfortable saying it's a second wave just because of this drop in the RSI. You know, you see this wave run and then the last of it, fifth wave, and then it went way down here. So that's pretty good for this coin. Looks like a three wave move. So I'll check that on the daily. Potential bottom right there. And then you got a five-way move up there. There's your bearish divergence right there. One, two, three, four, five. It looks good. Looks like a fourth wave. Looks like a potential second wave in there. Looks like you got three waves in the third wave. One, two, three, four, five. And it looks good. And it looks like a flat. Looks like it did a massive expanded flat. Let's see what it corrected on that wave. Beyond 618. 786 on the nose off of logarithmic. That looks good. RSI, you got your, it went way down here again. So that uh that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's what you want to see. That's a bullish signal. So so far it looks good. It looks good. Let's check the flat. Let's go with 12 hour, check that flat. It looks like a deep expanded flat. Make sure it hit some numbers real quick and yeah that thing went deep guys let's see here 2.618 off of a uh, logarithmic so it's probably pretty good check that out right on top of there right in that area kind of odd odd little coin may not really hitting numbers you can see one two three probably in a three and then down for a five and uh that was a little bit extended wave took that out and I would have to say right now, you're looking at a bullish coin. You're looking at a bullish coin. 
possibly. Looks like you get one, two, three, four, extended fifth wave right there. Up this way, wait for it to correct. Probably has another one behind it. If it's not done with its sequence, it's hard to suss that out, guys. It's going to be difficult to suss that one out. You see, it's going to be multiple sequences in there. One, two, probably one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Wait for it to correct. See where it corrects to pick it up is what I would do with this coin. Otherwise, I would say that you have a bullish coin on your hands. You know, it's going to be very simple. Wait for the correction. It went up onto a wave. So let's take a look at this overall picture on the daily. Went up into a wave. Corrected the wave. Possibly not quite deep enough, but you do have a lot of bullish divergence on there. Come down for that fifth wave, it looks like. Looks like it did a zigzag. And then up, you got your bullish di bearish divergence there for that wave. Telling you that's an impulse. Here's your third wave right there. You can see that peak. Fifth wave. And then you pick it up. You know, the worst case scenario is it's going to it's gonna flip up onto a C wave, but more than likely, I don't think so, guys. You know, I mean, the markets, this is an older coin. Looks like it came out in like, what, 2017 or something like that. And um, it's probably, it's probably definitely, uh, it's gone bullish. It has bullish signals all around it, you know. All you have to do is right here in this coin is you're going to be playing it off that low right there at a... Uh, $2.28 and wait for it to come down into its correction. These, This one, this type of move right here can be tricky. You know, it could continue to go up a little bit more. So this could be a fourth wave. It could go back up here, but eventually it's going to correct this, uh, this wave. So it's going to come up here and then you can start checking out the wave sequence. And then, you know, on this wave sequence right here, you just check this wave sequence right to get an idea where it may correct to so you want to check this one and say okay i'm going to check that whole wave that it did okay it corrected right there you know would it correct to off log hit 786 off log so you want to check it off log probably if it finished there see where this one corrects and then start looking for that 618 786 off a of logarithmic or linear is what i would do with a coin like this but it's gone up high high in rsi it's uh probably um this is just going to be my guess i would not be surprised to see one more little swing up and then a correction or it could be in a correction swing back up and then it's doing an abc but you know it's a it's a bullish coin man in my opinion you know it looks good and um you know it makes clean waves what did this thing run to the way it's what from there to there it did a uh you know 200x from march of 20 to September of 21. So it's been in a correction. How long was it in a correction? 308 days. And how long did this take? 525 days. Mm, it's a little bit short. It's a little bit short of a correction, I would say. I would that would makes me a little bit more cautious on it. That it, the, the time here is so short compared to that time. But then again, it could be a very bullish coin. Maybe it has something to do with this. Limited supply. It could be it could be the uh, the deal. All right, guys, that's the end of my uh, video on Ergo. If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.